Hey everyone, Comb wants to hear from gsinvention.com. In this video, I will be showing you how to set up custom fonts using two different sets of custom fonts and two different attributes in Game Salad. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create two integer attributes. We'll name the first one Timer and we'll name the second one Lives. We'll set timer to 60 and lives to 5. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to want to drag in our custom font images. So the first thing we're going to do now is drag on one of the images creating our first actor. We'll open it up. We'll create an integer calling it divide, D-I-V. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to constrain attribute self image to speech marks. Now, the thing that it says before the number in the middle, so text underline speech marks again, double dot floor. Now where it says X, we're going to put bracket, game, timer, which is the attribute we're using for our first set of custom fonts, divided by self, divide, bracket again, forward slash, bracket, self, divide, forward slash, ten, bracket, double dot, speech marks, now what it says after the zero in the middle is what we'll be typing, so underline, small, dot, png, speech marks, now we'll click tick, and we'll go back to home. We'll now duplicate this actor twice. We'll go into the first actor. We'll set divide to 10. We'll go into the second actor, set divide to 100. And go into our third actor and set divide to 1000. This is just clarifying which numbers go up to what decimal. We'll click preview. As you can see, our timer score is 60. So it's displaying 60. So if we set our timer score to 280, it'll show 280. So now we've got our first custom font set up. We'll quickly set up the second one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy the actor. So I'm going to hold down Option, click. Now it's copied. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag on the second image on top of that actor, which is our second set of custom fonts. And we'll just rename it to what the image is. Text underline zero. We'll go into that image and we'll redo our constraint attribute. So we're going to edit, open up the editor and where it says text, we're going to leave that as it says text here as well. The only thing we're going to change is the underline small before the dot png as there is nothing after the zero. We'll just get rid of that. The last thing we're going to change is the game timer. So we're going to select that, we're going to click game and set it to lives. And now we're going to click the tick button. We'll go back to home, initial scene, and now we're going to drag that actor onto the screen. We'll just option click, option click, we'll copy that twice, go into our first actor, do the same thing we did before, set divider to 10, set divider to 100, and set the last one to 1000. So now if we click preview, as you'll see our second custom font is showing the lives, which is at 5, and our first custom font 
is showing the timer score, which is 280. If you want to be a little bit more tricky, we could just add another actor saying control attributes. We'll drag it onto the scene. We'll open it up. We'll create a rule. If actor receive touch is pressed, what we're going to do is we're going to change attribute game dot lives to game dot lives plus seven. And we'll also change attribute game dot timer to game dot timer minus four. So now we'll click preview. If we touch this, our custom font is going to change to how we set it up as. And this is how you make multiple custom fonts and multiple integers in Game Salad.